mentioning kind of the home home game of all home games Thursday night. No need to forgive probably pep talks uh, for West Liberty, but will it add any more incentives or specialness to the night with them being number one probably coming into the game? No, I mean it's kind of normal. Uh, there they've been there quite a bit, and we've had opportunities. Uh, to play them when they're number one. So uh, it's another game. I mean, obviously, it'll be a great environment, and our guys will be ready to play. Uh, but uh, it is. It's just another game, and uh, we've got to be focused in on what we need to do to win that game. Well, the players on both teams know each other probably pretty, we pretty well and played uh, great games the last few years against each other. But what can the Cardinals do to turn around the end result since we've only taken one of the last one in the last couple of years here? Uh, I think, you know, with them, uh, you know, we, we are, we're going to have to take care of the basketball. We're going to have to play at the pace that we're comfortable with. Uh, we're going to have to rebound the basketball. And we're going to have to force them to take contested shots. They have some guys that can score the ball very, very well. We have to make it difficult on them where they're not getting easy baskets in transition and wide open threes. Since they do play a little bit different than the rest of the league, what makes them what makes your preparation different and what uh, and playing against them? What, what makes them different than the rest? Well, I don't know how much different they are. We have a lot of teams that will press and trap now. I think a lot of teams have tried to emulate what they do. Uh, they just tend to do it a little bit better than most. Uh, with preparation, you know, you just got to work on taking care of the basketball. Uh, you've got to work on uh, really, really moving without the basketball because they make it difficult to get the basketball in. And uh, you've got to have great effort to beat them. Since the games have been pretty much uh, nip, nip and tuck the, the last uh, few years here especially, what what would be the big factors coming down the stretch of Thursday night that will determine who comes out on top? Well, I think, you know, taking care of the basketball, playing at the pace that we're comfortable with, making plays. I think the team that's able to make plays down the stretch will have an opportunity to uh, win the game. And you're going to have to do, make plays for 40 minutes if you want to beat them. Well, next time we uh, sit here and talk, uh, your team will have finished the first round of and starting the second round of the MEC. What, what do you want to be able to say about the team, for, uh, at the state of your team at that point? Well, I just think we still have an opportunity to continue to get better. I don't think we've topped out as far as the team that we're going to be in February and into March. Uh, we have room to grow. I think we will continue to grow. I think we've improved here the last three weeks defensively quite a bit and I think offensively we'll continue to improve as well. So I don't think we've reached our ceiling and I think we'll continue to get better throughout this season.